I am very pleased to be here to be talking to you today. My name is Dr. Hassinat Liamna. I work in the Department of Science and Technical University Center of Mila. The contents of my presentation are introduction, problem, and numerical technique, results, and conclusion. In introduction, free convection in rectangular enclosure filed with porous media are investigated by many researchers due to their many engineering and environmental applications. Between the various geometries, rectangular enclosures have been receiving a growing interest recently due to its potential engineering applications in electronics package, electronical equipment, building corners. The understanding of the dynamic evolution of fluid through porous media due to natural convection is extensively documented in the review work of Nilt and Bejan, Vafai and Igman. The effect of partially heated choline on natural convection in a square or rectangular enclosures are investigated by many researchers. The main purpose of the present study is to consider the natural convection flow in a rectangular enclosure filed with a fluid saturated porous medium with partially and no uniformly heated wall. For different Rayleigh numbers and different amplitudes of sinusoidal temperature profile for heating. The, um, the implication of the study is the control of convective fluxes and temperatures in porous quantities. The problem is schematized uh, in the figure one. It is, it is a cavity shown in the figure temperature dis distribution applied on the partial left and right vertical side are given respectively by these formulas. The finite control volume method has been used to solve numerically the governing conservative equations of mass, momentum and energy. The physical properties are assumed to be constant except the density in the buoyancy force term which is satisfied by the Businex approximation. The, sim the simple algorithm based pressure correction method has been used to couple the momentum and continuity equations. This table summarizes summarizes the comparison of the average innocent number obtained by this present study with those obtained in literature, and it's seen that the agreement is excellent. In the results, this figure shows the effect of Rayleigh number on streamlines and isotonous line, lines for a square enclosure. This figure indicates that the strong influence on the flow structure, the, the intensity of the flow increase with the increase of the number of Rayleigh number. The figure, the, these two figures summarize, summarize the variation of the local and average set numbers with the Rayleigh number for different values of amplitude for heating. It is observed that new set numbers increase with increasing Rayleigh and amplitude of temperature. The, 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 these two figures illustrate the amplitude effect of the sinusoidal temperature on the new set number. We can show in figure 5 and 6 the variation of the local new set number for different amplitude values uh, at different number of Rayleigh, since the value of the amplitude is directly related to the temperature distribution on the low half of the wall, we note that the increase in amplitude 
values in this distribution affect an increase in the rate of heat transfer inside the enclosure. This last figure shows that the convection becomes gradually dominate as the Rayleigh number increases and as the aspect ratio decreases. In conclusion, the numerical results show that the heat transfer is mainly due to the conduction at low Rayleigh numbers. The conduction heat transfer regime has also indicated for low amplitudes of sinusoidal function of temperatures. The convection becomes gradually dominate as the Rayleigh number increases and as the aspect ratio decreases. Heat transfer increases with increasing Rayleigh number and enhanced at aspect ratio, rise, ratio uh, equal to 2 when the convection regime is dominated. Thank you.